The following report contains stories of a fictional nature. No facts were harmed in the making of this broadcast. A strong sense of humor is advised. <laughs> this is Vaguely News. Very good morning to you. Here's your Vaguely News wrap for this Saturday, June the 10th, 2023. I'm Rob Vega. Former Saffa and Iron Man wannabe elongated Rusk has announced his intention to throw his hat into the ring to compete in next year's elections in South Africa. Rusk slammed President Raman Kohler, saying he could easily fix load shedding and would be happy to serve as the new divine leader. The people of South Africa deserve a proper leader. Do you know what the word for leader in French is? Mm, it is chef. I will be the new chef and I will cook up something that you have never seen before. All this load shedding? Please. President Raman Kohler is just a little boy. South Africa needs a man-child leader. Like the drag singer, Divine said, you think you're a man, but you're only a boy. I will be the new Divine leader of South Africa. Real Housewives of Buckingham Palace star Egan Sparkle is sent to touch down at Oa Tambo later today ahead of a fact-finding mission, which could see the Hollywood Megan star move permanently to Joburg. South Africa is my real home. I'm coming to connect to the people of Africa, where I can find my real self. Over the last few years, I've realized I've begun to identify as South African, and I think it will be a tremendous privilege and opportunity for the people of the Rainbow Nation if I were to immigrate there. As I explained in my TV shows, podcasts, and press conferences, I really just need my privacy, and South Africa will be perfect, because no one in the U.S. knows where it is or cares much about it. And finally, South Africa will finally host a Formula One-type Grand Prix event next year with a difference. Seven-time Formula One champion, Bluish Ham and Dong, is behind the exclusive minibus taxis-only race, which will be staged on the concrete highway surrounding the city of Joburg. I was outraged that the idiotic Formula One people decided once again to exclude South Africa from the Formula One calendar. So I approached some of the taxi bosses in Gauteng who seemed keen on the idea. The minibus taxi drivers are all race trained and highly skilled in overtaking and braking under extreme conditions. I think it's going to be one hell of a spectacle and could change the face of motorsport forever. Indeed, that's it for Vega News. I'm still Rob Vega. That's your wrap. Rob Vega. Saturdays on Hot 1027.